to all my fellow book nerds out there. Jam here with another book review for you guys. Um, I know in my last video that I said I was going to be reading The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. I did actually get through the first two out of ten stories. And then I just wasn't feeling it anymore because, you know, it's February, the month of love. So I wanted to get into some contemporary romances. First, I reread Keeping the Moon by Cassandra Clare, and since I already did a book review for that, I decided not, I wasn't going to make another one. So I just reread that since it was short to get me in the mood of some romance. Next, uh, my friend Katie, she gave, uh, she let me borrow the next book that she just recently bought from Jamie McGuire from the Maddox Brothers series, Beautiful Redemption. And this one is about Thomas. Maddox, the eldest brother, and I was really excited to read it. Um, I, again, I think I've rated the other books 9 or 9.5s. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna rate this a 9.5 because that's what I believe I rated the other ones because I love this so much. I love the beautifuls. They're just so good. Anyway, on to the synopsis and then I'll just talk. No nonsense, Lise Lindy is an agent of the FBI. Deciding she is married only to her job, she breaks off her engagement and transfers from Chicago to the field office in San Diego. She loves her desk. She's committed to her laptop. She dreams of promotions and shaking hands with the director after cracking an impossible case. Special agent in charge Thomas Maddox is arrogant, unforgiving, and ruthless. He is tasked with putting away some of the world's toughest criminals, and he is one of the best the Bureau has to offer. Though as many lives as he saved, there is one that is beyond his reach. Younger brother Travis is faced with prison time for his involvement in a basement fire that killed dozens of college students, and the media wants a, convic a conviction. Travis's only savior is his unusual tie to the mob. In a deal that will spare his brother, Thomas has agreed to recruit Travis into the FBI. Lise is stubborn, defiant, and yet somehow softens Thomas's rough edges, making her the perfect agent to accompany him to the ceremony. Posing as a couple, they must travel to Travis and Abby's beach vow renewal and give him the news, but when the pretending ends, she finds herself wondering if they were pretending at all. In the second installment of the Maddox Brothers books, Experience firsthand the mysterious world of the elusive Thomas Maddox and how good love can be when you're not the first, but the last. So this was actually a very short book. It was only like around 200 something pages. And, but it had so much drama. And the font's like actually really small. So, it's so much drama. I loved it. And it was just so... I can't really say. So Lise is transferring from Chicago to San Diego and um, she's a translating person I forget a translator analyst analyst I believe and so um, Thomas they apparently meet on their first night this by the way is a, a new adult novel I mean there are some raunchy like steamy scenes so uh, just fair warning and as the story goes on, they they work together, some drama happens, and this hap this book happens a whole year after Beautiful Oblivion. After um if you've read Beautiful Oblivion, this is a spoiler by the way, Thomas and Cammy, who is now currently with Trent, they used to be together, but now they broke it off at the end. And Thomas, this is a whole year after his breakup with Cammy. And so, as the story goes on, there's the whole drama thing, how Thomas is still in love with Cammy, but then Lise comes into the picture, and it just fucks with everybody's emotions. Excuse my French. But it really just fucks with everybody's, like, feelings. And then, um, of course, things, like, you know, work out. And the epilogue... The epilogue here actually coincides with the epilogue in Walking Disaster, the whole 11 years later thing, because um, this, uh, the epilogue in this story occurs at the exact same time as the epilogue in Walking Disaster occurs, but it's with Thomas and Lise instead of Travis and Abby. 
the exact same day, the exact same time. Well, ex um, except in Walking Disasters epilogue, it it's um, it shows the little scene that is mentioned in here. But then after when he comes home to Abby, that's when this occurs too. Um, I'm running out of time on my little thing. So, again, I rate this a 9.5. I absolutely love all the beautifuls. I love the Maddoxes. I love all the Maddox Brother books and the original Walking uh, the Disasters. And since I'm really out of time, I got a couple of seconds left, I'm going to end it here 9.5 out of 10. I'm sorry I couldn't say more, but I, I'm really down on time. <laughs> I'm hoping, because the next book, Beautiful Sacrifice, comes out in the summer, then after that, in the winter, comes out the last book. So I guess I'll see you guys later. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next, so...